So don't worry. I know I, we, um, something happened during the guided meditation and the, the zoom gods put me on mute, mute. <laughs> so <laughs> you didn't get to hear the full guided meditation, but, um, I'm going to review, uh, the four foundations before we go into the next part of this session. So you won't have really missed anything. Um, so everybody's back. I see a few empty spots, but we'll get started. So um, I just wanted to say that I'm really happy to be here with each and every one of you. I'm Tarane Saylor, and um, I've been a friend of Rick Hansen's for many, many years in the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha, and I share a love of the Dharma with Rick and and a deep interest in the nature of consciousness and this human experience. And it's been my honor to guest teach for Rick several times at Dominican University in San Rafael, California. And some of you have been with me during those sessions. And as you might remember, I like to give away something to the group as a reminder of the theme of the meditation. Um, I've given away mandalas, bookmarks, postcards, mala forgiveness bracelets, medicine buddhas, prayer boxes, and blessing strings. And uh, tonight, even though I'm not physically uh, there to give you something, uh, I can't put something in your hand. You will have something in hand by the end of the evening. And um, so I still like to give a reminder of the evening's theme. And I'll, I'll let that be a mystery for a moment what that might be. Uh, let me say that I'm honored to be here with you because it's really wonderful that Rick has asked me to be a guest teacher tonight. It's a, it's really an honor. And I don't really think of myself as a teacher as much as a guide. And um, my love is in guiding, guiding meditation and guiding creative um, meditative workshops. Um, that's really where my heart lies. And so tonight I'd like to offer you from my heart, a special guided meditation to all of you. Um, it's based on the four foundations of mindfulness. And in this meditation, um, we'll be moving through the four foundations in a different way than you might have ever done it before. Um, and as, at a certain point in the meditation, I'm going to ask you to, um, to, create a hand gesture called a mudra. Many of you are probably familiar with this mudra and um, I'll demonstrate it. It looks like this. I'm looking back and forth between two monitors. That's why my head keeps going back and forth. So uh, this is the mudra. You put your pointer finger and your thumb together and lift the other fingers straight up. And the symbolism of this is the pointer finger represents the individual and the thumb represents the all. And when you bring the two together in harmony, it creates a whole, a complete one expression of, of both non-duality. You could think of it as the conditioned and the unconditioned coming together in harmony, or the relative and the absolute coming together in harmony. It's a beautiful expression. And I'd like to offer this to you tonight. Um, during the guided meditation, I'll be asking you to make this gesture at some point. So I just wanted to make you familiar with it. And I have some uh, images of this mudra. You might have seen it in um, statues and Buddhist uh, art and wondered what it was. It's the wisdom mudra. There are many variations of it. And um, I'm going to do a screen share with you right now. And I'd like to um, 
read to you this beautiful description that the Tibetan Nuns Project offers us um, of this mudra, a beautiful description. And, and you can find the Tibetan Nun Project at tnp.org. They describe it this way. They call it the Vitarka Mudra or Wisdom Mudra. The Vitarka Mudra is a common hand gesture representing the Buddhist teachings, the Dharma. It is formed by joining the tips of the thumb and the index finger together to form a circle keeping the other three fingers pointing straight up. The circle formed by the joined fingers symbolizes divine, perfect union with no beginning or end. This mudra is usually made with one hand, most often the right one, with a hand held upright, upward, close to the chest, and the palm facing outward. However, the mudra may also be made with both hands, held in front of the chest, with each finger, with the index finger and the thumb joined in a circle. When two hands are used, the left palm faces inward, and the right palm is turned outward. There are a great number of variations of this mudra in the Buddhist traditions. And here you see Thich Nhat Hanh using this mudra. So now you know what the mudra looks like. And sometime during this guided meditation, I'm going to ask you to, to make that mudra with your hand. So during this guided meditation, we're gonna go through the four foundations and I'll be using guided imagery. And then it will probably be different from most guided meditations that you're used to. And here's a brief overview of the four foundations in case I was muted and you didn't hear them in the beginning. Um, mindfulness of the body. We're gonna be calming the bodily formations and establishing the, the body breathing, and mindfulness of feeling tone. Feeling tone can be pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral. And in this meditation, we're going to deliberately cultivate a pleasant tone. Mindfulness of mind states is the third. And in this guided meditation, we will deliberately cultivate a mind state of calm and mindfulness of the Dharma. The seven factors of awakening are part of the wisdom teachings, the Dharmas, the Buddha wants us to be mindful of, and we will be deliberately cultivating calm and equanimity. So we'll have a journey through the four foundations leading to calm and equanimity, and we'll be using an anchor, using the physical gesture of the wisdom mudra to remind you of this calm equanimity that is always available to you whenever you need it. I'm gonna be doing a screen share while we're meditating because it's a beautiful image of the Buddha with this hand gesture floating on a pond, which is part of the imagery we'll be using tonight. So I'm gonna to switch to screen share now.
And I invite you to get very relaxed into a meditation posture. And if it works for you, you might even to like to lay down, but it's fine to sit in a chair. Whatever posture that you take, fully inhabit that posture and settle in. Feel your body coming to rest. Give in to the comfort of gravity. holding you close to the earth. Close to the earth that supports you unconditionally. Allow a sense of gratitude to well up in your heart for this precious moment you have given to yourself to come to this simple, natural stillness. Welcome this moment. The warmth of gratitude fills your body. Grateful for this moment to go inward. The eyes can naturally close and rest. And now we'll take three deep breaths into the belly. Take a full inhale and release deeper and relaxed. Take another full inhale into the belly and release even deeper and relaxed. And now take one more full inhale into the belly and release deeper, relaxed.
and now breathing normally. And with each easy breath, be attentive to the gentle movement of the body breathing. Almost a gentle rocking. Body breathing. Enjoy the pleasant sensation of the inhale. And enjoy the release of the exhale. Gentle and tender awareness. To the easy in and out breath. Body breathing. and allow the beautiful breath and the sensation of relaxation to flow, to flow so softly like a golden warm light, a warm golden light flowing over each part of the body as I name it, starting at the top of the head, warm golden light flowing down over the head, soothing and relaxing, breathing in, and breathing out. Flowing over the forehead, the ears, the cheeks, the jaw, and the neck. And now flowing down over the shoulders, shoulder blades, chest, upper back, middle back, 
and lower back. solar plexus and belly, warm golden light flowing over the hips, the bottom, breathing in and breathing out. Warm golden light flowing over the upper arms, the elbows, the lower arms, the hands, Warm, soothing, golden light flowing over the upper legs, the knees, the shins, the calves. over the ankles, the heels, the tops of the feet, the bottoms of the feet, and the toes. Breathing in and breathing out. A body breathing. And now imagine or allow a memory of a still pond of clear water to come to mind. Maybe it's in a deep, beautiful forest secluded and quiet. The water very still, no breeze. No movement on the water surface. And now imagine dropping a small gray, smooth pebble into the deep, clear pond. The ripple 
moves in a circle outward. And just below the surface of awareness, below the surface of the water, see the pebble drift down and down, floating down past water creatures, gently floating past underwater plants, the pebble floating down. Until it lands softly on a large flat leaf of an underwater plant. Settling there. The gentle current of the water rocks the leaf and the pebble back and forth, back and forth. As the pebble rests, a gentle back and forth. And now a small water animal darts past the leaf, making the leaf tip and the pebble slides off the leaf and continues traveling down and down, deeper and deeper, coming to rest safely and securely at the bottom of the quiet clear pond. A calm and pleasant place to rest. as you gently breathe in and out. Resting here. a very pleasant feeling of coming to stillness and rest. And now you may notice this pleasant feeling tone in your whole body. Or it may be in your heart. Or your solar plexus.
noticing this pleasant feeling tone wherever it may be. Subtle or very strong. and allow it to expand. Pleasant feeling tone growing naturally with your awareness. This soft, easy feeling expanding, naturally filling your whole body, your mind, and your heart. Soothing every place it touches. With each easy breath. Allowing the pleasant feeling to become one with the body breathing. The body rests here and the mind is also saturated in the deep waters of clear calm. Awareness immersed. deeply in calm, stillness. Only a deep feeling of spacious calm deep within you Feeling your being as a deep well of peace. A deep well of calm. Full to the brim. A 
a deep spring-fed well full to the brim with clear, calm water. And now in your mind's eye, I'd like you to reach out slowly and imagine touching the surface of that water of the deep well, full to the brim. Touch the surface of that calm water touching the surface of the deep well of calm with your fingers. Connecting with that deep well of calm. And now in real time, with the same hand that you imagine touching the water with, press your actual pointer finger and the thumb together lightly in the wisdom mudra. Feel the calm fill your body. and permeate your body completely. When you make the wisdom mudra, let this symbol, this gesture, be your anchor to this feeling of the deep well of calm that is within you. The wisdom mudra is a symbol of the deep well of calm within you. This beautiful gesture of bringing together the individual and the all. The unconditioned and the conditioned. the relative and the absolute. Holding all in this circle. Excluding none. Feel the equanimity of this deep wisdom of oneness.
I invite you to use this mudra gesture whenever you need or would like to feel the deep, cool waters of stillness and calm equanimity within you. Let this gesture remind your body, remind your heart, to join the one and the all. And feel this deep well of calm and equanimity within you. In a moment, I'm going to ring the bell, but take your time and return from this meditation gently in your own time. And I'd like to leave you with this from the Buddha's own words found in the Pali Canon. I've paraphrased this to make the sentence structure a bit more familiar. Um, here, Buddha describes a second level of meditative states or jhana states and offers the imagery of a pond of water to illustrate his meaning, the Buddha says, when directed thought and observation are stilled, the practitioner enters the second level of meditation. This is rapture and pleasure that comes from composure and is free from directed thought and observation. There is an internal stilling, steadiness and serenity. A meditation practi practitioner pervades and permeates, suffuses and fills the entire body with composure, serenity, rapture, and relaxation caused by withdrawal and going inward. The Buddha continues, just like a pond with natural spring water welling up from within, with no other waters entering this pond, except for an occasional abundant rain shower, the pristine clear water welling up from within the pond will permeate and pervade, suffuse and fill it with pure waters. There will be no part of the pond unpervaded by pristine waters. Just like this, the meditation practitioner permeates and pervades, suffuses and fills this very body 
with a rapture and pleasure born of composure, steadiness, and serenity. So I'd like to thank you very much for your kind attention this evening and willingness to spend time with me. And I'm grateful to each and every one of you for being here. Thank you. I'd like to sit for one minute to close this session and to dedicate the merit of our practice tonight. So let's sit for one minute. 